All right, so I'm brushing his fur still. Mm. If anybody watches this channel, I do have a question. For some reason, when I touch one of Oreo's back hind legs, he tends to freak out for some reason. And I get ready to clip it. He jumps away and freaks out. Oh, look at that nice golden tips on that fur. You know what? Both of you have beautiful fur. You see why you clean and maintain it all the time. Now, I was trying to take a look to see if you need it clipped. See? And then if I pick him up, he freaks out. And I don't know if one of his feet are hurting or not. But he tells me he doesn't like anybody touching his hind legs. Now let's set the camera down and try to clip his claws. Okay. Okay, I think I got his claws clipped. Yep, I got them. Well, one of the they're clipped enough. Okay. See, he seems fine with his back legs now, but at first, when I touched him, he wouldn't let me touch him. So I don't know if he's in any pain or if he's just frightened at people touching his hind feet. I know guinea pigs, they're naturally skittish, like if you touch them from behind. But, you know, when I pick up Katie's hind claws to clip them, she's fine. Oreo, he's another story. So, I'm just hoping he's okay. Guinea piggy leggy. Again, he's difficult to bathe. So he could have hurt himself right there. Or maybe he's just self-conscious about his feet. <laughs> I mean, some animals don't like, you know, being touched in certain areas. Like, some dogs hate being touched on a tail. Yeah, when I was little, I used to hate being touched all the time. Certain things. He seems calm right now as I'm brushing him. You see the little partner's fur in his back. You see he's like hair but all over your body. And this dude has hair instead of fur. Brush his little tuxedo back there. You can see it better when he's, you know, not sitting sitting down when he's standing up instead of sitting balled up like this is either to see his tuxedo hmm. give him a little celery leaf kind of spilled celery leaves all over my bed all right think he's done i'm gonna set him back in his cage now